Nearly half a million families could be hit with an energy bill shock after um, the meter switch off. Old technology meters will be stop working from the end of March 2024 when the BBC switches off long wave radio signal. Around 820,000 families may be in for an electric bill shocker if they don't take action before the end of March next year. Electricity supply experts, Alexon, have revealed that hundreds of thousands of UK homes still rely on old-fashioned radio teleswitch service, RTS meters, which will stop functioning after the 31st of March next year, when the service, which also broadcasts a signal alongside the long-wave channel for BBC Radio 4, will be switched off. The RTS radio teleswitch was originally meant to shut off back in 2014, but energy suppliers have retained it as they act to move their customers over to new meters. However, figures from June this year suggest that customers at some of the UK's biggest energy suppliers, such as Scottish Power and Eon, are still relying on these legacy devices and risk losing functionality if the meter is not replaced before next April. Hundreds of thousands of customers on Economy 7 and other multi-rate energy tariffs rely on the radio tele-signal, which is picked up by the meter and used to switch the electricity rates at different times of the day. Some radio tele-switch electric meters can also automatically turn heating and hot water on and off during certain hours. These meters will stop working as intended from April 2024. The radio tele switch helps electricity suppliers switch between peak and off peak times and controls when your heating and hot water switches on and off. When the signal is switched off, these meters could be left jammed on the peak rate electricity rates depending on when the radio tele signal switch is cut off, which could lead to bill hikes for households affected by the switch off, as the cheaper overnight rates offered by the multi-rate tariffs are usually counteracted by much higher daytime or peak rates. This could also leave those with heating systems controlled by radio tele switches on or off permanently. So your storage heaters could be on permanent charge, off permanently, or stuck on the day rate. And then you would have a huge electricity bill. With less than a year to go, Offgem has already told suppliers that it was still disappointed with the lack of progress in ensuring that these customers' meters are exchanged for smart variants so they can switch over themselves or have an internal clock built in. The only way to avoid facing these issues expected to arise from the radio tele-switch switch off is to switch to a smart meter. Customers that do so will get access to multi-rate energy tariffs, including Economy 7. So you'll have peak and off-peak and you can charge your storage heaters on the off-peak and hot water on your dual immersion. See my other videos. An off-gem spokesperson said, suppliers have to make sure meters are safe and accurate and sometimes mean replacing the meter. We expect suppliers to communicate clearly to their customers about this. If you use electricity for heating and hot water, using electric storage panel heaters and or immersion heaters, you have tariffs that offer cheaper rates during off-peak periods you may have a radio tele-switch equipment in your home. The oldest radio tele-switch powered meters have a switch box labelled radio tele-switch located next to the electricity meter. Others have radio tele-switch switch box included within the meter as a single box on the wall. If you're unsure about the type of meter in your home, just call your supplier. I have included photographs during this video of different types of tele switches that I've come across. If you have any of these in your home, you definitely need to contact your supplier and make sure 
that it's changed to a smart meter or a meter that has a clock within it so it can change from peak to off peak without being interrupted as that radio signal is going to be turned off. You could be stuck on the cheap off peak tariff but that's not likely. You'll probably be stuck on an expensive day rate tariff and then that way you will have massive bills. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to check out the description for more details.